morning children i hope you are all fine yes okay children you all had your breakfast very good so now we are going to start our lessons after our completion of term 1 after the completion of term 1 we are going to start what yes very good now we are going to start our term 2 so already we have completed one lesson is on what is it chapter 7 weather climate and adaptation of animals for the term 1 you had totally 6 chapters 1 to 6 now we are going to start our term 2 with a recap of chapter 7 okay children so what is it 7 weather climate and adaptations of animals to climate so after a long interval you have forgot what had happened in the previous session so to remind you and giving you this revision session okay children so these are all the content of this lesson we are introduction weather climate adaptation and then in the last we will be having a recap so what is the introduction to weather and climate children so weather summer occurs all over the year all over the year whether it is comfortable for you no so the change of climate is important for the crops to grow yes or no yes for the rain to occur if the season changes only we are able to do everything if it is rainy all over the year whether it is possible for us to live no so there is necessary for the climate to change and our day to day conditions also changes when we are fixing a program to go out we will be seeing the climatic condition of that place how it will be in summer we will prefer to go uti kodaikanal yes or we will prefer to go some other place like chennai in summer no so based on the seasons everything we plan next thing is about weather what is mean by weather the day to day condition of the atmosphere what is it the day to day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to temperature humidity rainfall and wind speed is called weather what is mean by weather the day to day condition of the atmosphere with respect to temperature humidity rainfall and wind speed is called weather we determine weather based on this characters based on this okay so what are the elements of weather temperature humidity rainfall and wind speed are called as elements of weather because weather is based on depend on all these four things weather depends on all these four things so they are called as elements of weather sample weather report i have given you an activity so here they are given the weather forecast for 3 days whether it is same whether the temperature of these 3 days are same no it varies the temperature varies depends on the humidity rainfall wind speed and temperature so the weather is not same for all the days next thing i have given you an activity but only one had completed that activity none of you had submitted that only one had completed the activity i want you all to complete this activity whether it is difficult to remember see in your mobile you can do this you can complete this work so prepare this okay try to complete this activity in the next google meet i want to see all your activities clear children so what are the elements first one is temperature temperature is a physical quantity we had seen well enough in the chapter 4 about temperature that is in the heat lesson types of thermometers what are the units used we had seen briefly everything in depth so temperature it is one of the quantity in which the weather depends on it helps to express the hotness and coldness the temperature is measured by an instrument called thermometer second thing is humidity is nothing but the 
amount of water vapor which is present in the air. The amount of water vapor present in the air is called humidity. Generally, we are not able to see that, but we are able to feel that. Okay. Look at here. What is this? Humidity which is present in the atmosphere. Next, the third thing is rainfall. I am going faster because we have completed this lesson already. So, if you have missed some points in the previous session, just have a note of those points in a hints note. And then rain is liquid in form and we receive it as in the form of droplets. How children, how do we get rainfall? Yes. How do we get rain children? Yes. By the process of evaporation. The water which is present in the ponds and lakes get evaporated due to the heat. So these evaporated water molecules condense in the clouds and again reaches the earth in the form of rain. So the instrument which is used to measure rain is called rain gauge. What is it? Rain gauge. Which place this is the highest rain for children? Very good. Sirapunji in Mehalaya receives the highest amount of rainfall. And which place this is the lowest rainfall? Yeah, Rajasthan. In Rajasthan, a place called Jaisalmer. Jaisalmer in Rajasthan receives the lowest amount of rainfall. The next element is wind speed. The speed of wind also helps in determining the weather of a Place. The movement of air is called wind. The movement of air is called wind. So, this wind always moves from a high pressure area to a low pressure area. Okay, children. Next thing is, what is the instrument used to measure the speed of wind? Just note down, children. The instrument used to measure the amount of rain is rain gauge. Note that. The instrument used to measure the amount of rain is rain gauge and the instrument used to measure wind speed. What is it? Wind speed is anemometer. Have you noted this? Anemometer? Yes. Next we have seen the temperature graph. This is the temperature for one week. Look at here for Monday it has been recorded as 19. And then for Tuesday it is 21. Same 21. So based on this graph we can say that the temperature of a day is not same for all the days. It varies. It changes. Next, the instrument which is used to measure the temperature of a day. What is it? Temperature of a day is called maximum minimum thermometer. So, totally we have seen about three types of device. One is rain gauge, anemometer and then maximum minimum thermometer is used to find the maximum and minimum temperature of a day. Maximum temperature are noted in the afternoon and minimum are noted in early morning or in the evening. Clear children? Next thing is, who is responsible for all these climatic changes? Yes, sun. He is the only person who is responsible for all the changes which takes place in the earth. The second topic is climate. First we have discussed about weather. The second one is climate. Both the weather and climate are not seen. Weather is taken as a period of few days. But the climate is taken an average of over 30 or 25 years. Average. How do we take an average children? Do you know taking average? So, if you have 10 percent, if you want to take the average marks of science. You have written your exams, right? So, you need the average marks of science test. Consider there are 20 members in a class. How many members? 20 members in a class. I am adding all the marks of these 20 persons. I am adding the marks of these 20 students. Okay. For example, 
if I am getting something like 1025 you may consider. Consider I am getting 1000. So I want to divide the 1000 by how many children are there? 20. If I am dividing the 1000 by 20, I will get the average marks of science in one class. Are you clear children? So adding all these and dividing it by the average number is called the taking average. Is known as average. So the climate is recorded for a long term average of weather. The climate is taken for a long term, long term average of weather. It may be over 30 years or 25 years. The climate is the average weather in a given area over a long period of time. The temperature of a place is hot for most of the days. What is it? The temperature is hot for most of the days and if there is more rainfall. It is hot and it receives more rainfall. Then the climate of the place is called hot and wet. What is it? Hot and wet. So if it is hot for most of the days, but if it receives less rainfall, it is called as hot and dry. Okay, hot and wet, hot and dry. So example of hot and dry place is Rajasthan. Here you are given a graph of a place called Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. So this is the daily minimum temperature. What is it? It is the daily minimum temperature in the month of January. So how do they take the daily minimum temperature of the month of January? So January we are having 31 days. Right? So adding all the temperature of the 20, 31 days and dividing it by 31, you will be getting the average of the month January. Clear? And for the maximum also, we are adding all the maximum temperature, which is recorded in the afternoon. So after adding all that, we need to divide that by 31. We will get the average temperature. Okay. So this is the mean rainfall. It is the daily minimum and maximum temperature and the mean rainfall for one year in Kashmir. Second graph shows that the Average rainfall and daily minimum and maximum temperature in Kerala. That is a place called Tirunandapuram. So compared to both these. So the temperature is low. The temperature is low in Jammu and Kashmir. But rainfall is higher in Kerala. Rainfall is higher in Kerala. So which place is considered as school children? Kerala or Jammu? Yes. Jammu and Kashmir is considered to be the cold place while compared to Kerala. Okay. Next thing is weather versus climate. Weather condition of the atmosphere in one place during a short period of time. Weather is nothing but a condition of atmosphere in one place during a short period of time. But climate is a weather pattern over a long period of time. Climate is for long period. Weather is for short period. This is the difference between these two. Next thing is what is an adaptation? What is an adaptation? How a person or animal changes or adopts to survive in particular place. I said you some examples also in the last classes. If you are going out for job to some places, you need to adopt to that condition. If not, you are not able to survive there. We change how we dress. So we need to change our dresses according to the people who live there. We cannot be different there. Yes or no? If you are coming to school, you must come in uniform only. You cannot come in color dress. So what is that? Adaptation. We change ourselves to the condition. When the weather gets cold, we wear coats and long pants. Similarly, the animals also changes their condition according to the place where they live. 
it is called as adaptation